All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephen Dunn. Uh, I'm with Core Therapy and Pilates in Austin, Texas. I'm a, uh, the owner of the founder of Pilates for PTs, uh, where I help people, uh, physical therapists, incorporate Pilates into their practice. Um, but today I want to tell a little case story, case study. I'm struggling with my words. Apologize. <clears throat> Yesterday I had a very uh, brand new client came in. And they signed up for a discovery session and they immediately had signed up for a 30 minute session right after. Um, so a lot of people come in and do, this, do the discovery session and they need a little time to determine if they really want to do this. They need some, they need to get over some skepticism. Uh, some people are ready to go when they're on the phone with my person. Uh, they're ready to, ready to make, that, um, make that step. They're ready to get treated. And this was a word of mouth scenario and with word of mouth scenario, a lot of times they're a lot ready, to, a lot more ready to move than if I found them <clears throat> on Facebook or some other way where they're searching and they found me versus someone said, hey, go see this guy. <clears throat> so I want to tell you a little story about that. So this woman comes in. She's um, 33. She's definitely younger than my ideal client. She definitely is not, the, um, doesn't live in the same um, demographic as my ideal client. But that's the beauty of word of mouth. Uh, ideal clients are kind of for our marketing purposes. Excuse me, but our um, word of mouth people can come in from all over, drive in from an hour. I've had people drive in from far distances, but that's a different story. So this person comes in and she's uh, she starts telling me her story. And what she tells me is that two weeks ago I was at a bachelor, bachelorette party and I met this woman who is your old patient. And she, I was telling her about, we were, we were just talking and I referenced my pain and the things that, of how my life was affected by my pain. And this woman, who was my old client, started raving about what I had taught her, how she had been, how she had seen 10 to 12 uh, practitioners, medical practitioners before anyone helped her. And then once she saw me with the first, very first visit with what we did was a tremendous help that, you know, it didn't solve it, but it was a very tremendous improvement and we were able to grow and work from there. <clears throat> She's a client I've seen several times, probably, probably uh, three different episodes for car accidents, different things over the years. Uh, I saw her when I took insurance. Um, I saw her when I didn't take insurance. And she was uh, someone that I know can't really afford me, but she finds a way to see me when she's hurting and does my payment plans when she needs to come in for some consistency. But anyway, so she's telling this woman, this new client who's seeing me yesterday, uh, Monday, um, maybe it was yesterday, I can't remember, <laughs> that's irrelevant. But anyway, uh, I'm seeing this new client. She's like, yeah, so I met Blank and she told me all about you and she grabbed the ball that you gave her and she started teaching me your homework. And I did the first thing, two things, <clears throat> and all of a sudden now, I had a tremendous breakthrough with doing these two little simple things. And so here I am and I wanna see you and I'm ready to rock and roll. And what was interesting is that the what she, my old patient had her do was take this ball and do some release work. Now on the ball, it might be backwards on here. I think it probably is going to be backwards, but it has my logo, it has my business logo, same as on my 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 hat here. Um, but it has this my, this logo on it, and I've been giving this ball out to people for years, and it's a ball I teach them to release their pec minors, their hip flexors, different things. Um, and so I'm teach I'm using I'm you know basically this my old clients shows her this ball. She looks at the ball, sees my logo, and says. Is he in Rain Tree Office Park, which is the name of the building I'm in? And she, the, uh, my my old clients say, "Oh my gosh, how do you know that?" And the woman say, "Oh, my old partner's business is in that complex, and I would park right in front of that 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 office because I recognize the logo." And so all of a sudden, someone who had been in my parking lot ten for I'm sorry five years <clears throat> and had pain that whole time never came in and saw me. She sees a client of mine two weeks ago, there they meet, my client is so excited to share what has helped her, how I've helped her, that she starts teaching my homework to some person who's basically a random stranger to her who's now becoming a friend because they've met at this bachelorette party. And then from that experience and the logo and the person knowing where we were, all of a sudden she came in another day 
ready to go. She didn't ask about cost. She didn't ask about anything. I didn't assume she could or couldn't afford it. She's younger than my ideal client. She runs her own business. I have no idea what to expect on what she can and can't afford. I just treated her like I treat everybody else. Told her the, uh, the rundown on the differences in the hour sessions versus the half hour sessions and the price point being better for the hour sessions, but it was up to her. And that I would, uh, that I would, I would, and I, that I offer a payment plan. And that I offer a payment plan that she can come in and see me once a week and it's this price, but she can pay me once a month that price. So see me once a week for four weeks, five weeks to get it under control, but pay me once a week. I'm sorry, pay me once a month. So, but she was like ecstatic and she looked at the money and I offered her the two options and she goes, I'll take the hour sessions, which are over $220. And she looked at another option that was less than $200 and she chose the more expensive one. So she's booked out for the next five weeks. And it's just a little story of branding and, and marketing and um, word of mouth. And this client, who is my old client, told her he doesn't take insurance. He didn't. She didn't tell her how much I was, but so she didn't. This new client didn't know how how what the cost was, but knew I didn't take insurance. knew knew that when she came in that the trust was there. I spent a half hour treating her. Really, I spent about forty minutes treating her um, because I had the time, and she left in tears because of how good she felt and how much of a change she had, felt, had made. And she'd already been doing the homework that I was gonna teach her already. So I'm like, all right, now you know the homework. You, now the homework you've been doing is gonna be more effective from what I've done today. So I just wanna share that story with you because it was really awesome um, to see how someone who's not my ideal client at all, not, just, not the typical mom in the neighborhood who I see, this woman's a, um, out of the military, uh, no children, um, you know, just a totally, totally different, lives on a totally different part of town, totally different um, world than my ideal client. But she came in roaring, ready to go, and it was awesome. So just want to share that with you. Uh, if y'all have any comments or questions, put them below. Um, and I, I'm looking for some questions uh, today. I had a great one I answered earlier, and uh, I'll be answering on uh, doing these on Wednesday mornings, uh, anytime between Wednesday morning and midday. And if anytime you put a question in the group, I'll answer them. So looking forward to more. Y'all take care. Have a fantastic day.